everybody, welcome to January Favorites. Talking about a book series. I had started this series a long time ago, and that is the President's Vampire series by Christopher Farnsworth. It's a little bit out there. If you know what kind of books I like, I like the mystery novels, I like paranormal where you can find it and when you can smush them together. This one is more of like almost like a political thriller. There's no romance mushy stuff in this. Um, which I actually prefer. I'm not big into the mushy romance stuff. The premise is that right after the Civil War, a ship is washed ashore somewhere near Boston and everyone on the ship is dead except for one person and that person turns out to be a vampire. They capture him and he is given a presidential pardon for murdering everybody on the ship by President Jackson. From then on, he is this vampire is sworn by a special oath to serve at the pleasure of the president. And so now we're in modern day, and it sort of explains all the weird conspiracy theory stuff, like maybe there really was something different about certain events throughout history. So it's really interesting if you're into that kind of thing. Um, I am. So I really enjoy the series and I will put that in the description box below. The, I will link to the first book in the series and then you can go from there. Another favorite of mine this month was that we all got to get um, early access to the GG New York winter sale. Um, I was able to get us a week of early access shopping before it opened up to the world and I got us a one day coupon code that um, got us a free mini zip pouch with the purchase and they threw in free shipping because there's a little bit of a mix up in the first hour or two that the sale, the code went live. Today, the sale is open to the whole world. It's still going. So if you didn't get a chance to shop the sale, click on over to the GG New York page. I've linked it below. And um, I don't know what's sold out yet. And I do know that as things sell out, they're going to add other things. So I don't know what those are. I, I'm kind of curious because Everything looks pretty amazing. And if you missed the video where I walked you through all the stuff that I own that is actually in the sale, I will link that as well. All right, let's get on to the material stuff that I can show you, starting with, I keep playing with my hair, these earrings, aren't these fun? These, of course, are from Bobble Bar, one of my original OGs. And um, I just love, they come in different colors, but I love this deep, deep, very pigmented, I guess, blue. I don't know. It's just, they're very, very lightweight. They're mostly just like floss string and they're just fun and they brighten up the winter and I've just really been having a lot of fun wearing them. You guys have been noticing them. So I just wanted to share these. These are a fun little find I found at Bobble Bar this month. I'm just going to go through this box and share my favorites in here. The first is a technique. I kind of stumbled upon it when I went up to Boston to film those um, TV interviews. I don't do false lashes, and I wasn't sure if the makeup artist that they were going to have on set was going to have them on hand, so I came with my makeup done anyway. But um, I layered two mascaras. In this case, I put the Chanel La Volume down first. It's very thickening and dark and a little clumpy, though. Not overly so, but a little bit. And then I went over that before it dried with the Lancome Grandiose mascara and I think this wand, this gooseneck wand that you can see if I hold it right up in front of my face, uh, makes that hap that makes that a little easier to do. And it I feel like makes really dramatic lashes. This might be a little much for every day. I don't think you can have too dramatic a lash, but anyway, the makeup artist was very impressed with how dramatic my lashes were and she gave it the thumbs up. Another favorite is a foundation type. I've been wearing it a lot the last half of the month. It's from Guerlain. It's their Lingerie Depot BB Cream. Not to be confused with their foundation that I think they totally screwed up. But the BB Cream is amazing. And um, SPF 30, which don't really need so much these days, but you know, it's good when you do. And I think it gives the most amazing coverage. I mean, really, op not opaque, but very full on coverage, almost like a foundation. One pump of this is good for my whole face and I feel like it gives that luminous coverage that I like without being shiny and um, I like the squeezy bottle and still a pump at the top. I just love it. it, just, I love it. I have been wanting this forever. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Eye Pencil in the shade Burgundy Suede. I have used 
Um, I Estee Lauder pencils before and I really like them. Then I got lazy and wanted to switch to pencils that I didn't have to sharpen. Then I've been playing with the Makeup Forever and Lancome ones and they're nice, don't get me wrong, I like them, but I was looking for this brownish, well, burgundy. I was looking for a burgundy shade and I have not found one anywhere except for this Estee Lauder one. It was out of stock forever at Sephora. I believe it's out of stock again at Sephora, but you know who carries Estee Lauder now online anyway? Ulta, and it is in stock at Ulta. I really like, it's very creamy. The color is exactly what I was looking for. I'm wearing it today, and um, I've been wearing it pretty much, it's the only liner since I've gotten it. Um, it's the only liner that's touched my lids. A new brow mascara I wanted to tell you about. Poor Michael, everything was a mascara. If you missed that video when my husband does my voiceover, I think it is YouTube gold, but I'm totally biased, but anyway, uh, throughout the video, he kept thinking every product I applied anywhere near my eyes was some kind of mascara. And he was just so convinced that, yes, this was it. And then, nope, the next one. Now, that's definitely mascara. This definitely is, though. It is new from Rimmel. It's their Brow This Way Brow Mascara, which is not new. But what is new is the shade. Um, I don't know what this shade is actually called. Ah, 001 Blonde. That's what it's called. It's a nice budget alternative. I think it's even less expensive than the NYX Brow Mascara. And... I feel like no discernible difference. I wish the brow, um, the applicator itself was a little bit tinier. I do prefer the NYX applicator. This one's a little bit bigger, but it's really a nice little product. And if you're looking for a blonde brow mascara that's very budget friendly, I highly recommend that. A uh, concealer that I've been using, I don't love it as much as the Tarte Shape Tape. I still think that's the best one I've found. But if you want one that, again, is a little more friendly to your budget, it's not as intense opaque, which maybe is not such a bad thing. That's, that's like full on, more everyday kind of stuff. It's a lot of you recommended it, so I went out and bought it. It's from Maybelline, New York. It's the Master Conceal Camouflaging Concealer. It's a lot of words there. And I picked it up in the lightest shade, of course, 10 Fair. This is definitely best layered over, like for me, I like more of an opaque look, so I do put my MAC Radiant um, rose underneath first, pat that down, and then put this on top. And it's really nice. It doesn't crease. You know, I the squeezy tube, a lot comes out. It's a squeezy tube, so a lot does come out. I still kind of prefer that doe foot wand. This is a really nice alternative to the Tarte Shape Tape. Another product, I've had this for, I don't know, two or three months, and I've really just recently started playing with it. And um, I'm actually wearing it today. It's from Amazing Concealer, and it's their Hydrate is that what it's called? Yeah, Amazing Concealer, it's their Hydrate Concealer. What I like about this is it's in a stick, and for traveling, I mean, I think this is amazing. And um, it's in a little stick like this, so you immediately think, oh, it must be drying if it's in a stick. Well, no, it actually is not. It's quite, quite um, moisturizing. It doesn't get cakey under my eyes. It's very illuminating, it's very bright. It has good pigmentation. Again, it's not like the Tarte Shape Tape but maybe that's not what you want every day, like Instagram kind of makeup. And I am wearing it in the shade Ivory. Big shocker there. And look at that cute packaging. Another favorite that I am wearing, and I am just nonstop with this. I love this so much. I will be doing a tutorial for you in February using this palette. This is from L'Oreal. It is not new by any means. It's the La Palette, La Palette Nude One. I've had this sitting in a drawer forever and I was looking for something else and stumbled upon it and thought, why am I not using this? Not new to the market. A lot of you have already seen this before. Lots of nice warm neutral colors. So easy, so blendable, so just everyday kind of palette. You're not gonna get crazy dramatic looks out of this. The darkest shade isn't really all that dark, but I'm fine with that because I don't want dramatic. That's not what my life, it's not what I lean toward. So if you're looking for more, um, you know, everyday wearable palette that has quite a few options as far as like a smoky eye or just like some light colors. I love, I've been wearing this literally non-stop. However, the key to me really, really liking it because I've been putting a matte shade all over my lid, but I still wanted that kind of shimmery pop on uh, coming from within is another oldie, but a favorite, it's from Clinique. I think it's called their Touch Base. Um, I'll put the exact name in the description box, but it's this little, little um, compact, very tiny. And it's basically, um, I like to keep the foil lid, by the way, on there. It does keep the product a little bit uh, 
creamier. And it's basically like a cream eyeshadow, but it's really meant to be more like a primer. So I just put a little bit of this all over my lid, pat it in. It gives it a nice ivory shimmer, which I could just let it wear all by itself. But then I layer other products on top of it, and that shimmer still comes through, even through the matte. I really, really love this product. Okay, my last beauty-related favorite is a new fragrance, a new scent, and it's from Pacifica. So the extreme opposite price point of my Hermes Amber Nargila, Amber Nargile. It is called Sugared Amber Dreams Perfume. I have the rollerball. It's definitely a warm, very sweet scent, very girly, but it has that amber kind of underlaying throughout it. So if you don't like really sweet, I mean really sweet, you're gonna hate it. Hence the word sugar in it. But I love it, and I love the rollerball size, and this came with me to Boston, and it pretty much lives in my purse in my little makeup bag, so I love it. Two non-beauty favorites I forgot to talk about are both pens. They're both by Pilot um, from their Frixie Online. So many of you recommended that I go out and get these, at least this one. This is just the regular pen, and it doesn't look like anything special, except it's erasable. And if you're left-handed, erasable pens, like those old paper mate pens, were a nightmare because as you wrote, your hand would drag and smear everywhere. This won't smear. It has this little, um, a little tip at the end that's sort of a rubbery substance. And when you rub back and forth, it's not the eraser, it's the heat from the friction, friction pens, that make the ink disappear. So this is great if you're like me and you're a little OCD about your planner. And um, like I hate writing in something in my planner and then the event changes and I have to either cross it out or get the whiteout tape. This gets rid of that need. You just and it's all gone. I love it. It's so cool. And then, same line, highlighters. I got a pack of these. You know, they have the yellow, the pink, the orange, the green. And um, it, it's a normal highlighter. And then you just, you know, take your tip. If you've like, whoops, I highlighted the wrong thing. You just and it's all gone. Genius. Two fails. I need to mention, not going to go into it too deeply. Born This Way Concealer from Too Faced. I talked about it in my concealer um, review a little bit. It just didn't do anything that I wanted it to do. It didn't cover enough, it wasn't light enough, and it creased. And then this should probably get its own video, but so many other people have talked about it already, so I just want to mention the Too Faced Sweet Peach Glow Palette. First of all, just getting my hands on this was a total cluster. I thought it was going to sell out at Sephora and Ulta, so I ordered it the day it came out a little earlier than that from the Too Faced website. I will never again order from Too Faced directly. Too Faced screwed up so badly with their ordering system. I placed my order, you saw it in a vlog, got up mega early to put that order in, had to wait online for 30 minutes just to get a spot to get on the website, put in my order, um, it sold out and then it came back, blah, blah, blah. Three weeks later, I still didn't have this thing. And there was, like, I tried calling their customer service line. Nobody ever answered the phone or it was just busy and I tried calling constantly. I emailed them half a dozen times, never got a response, tried tweeting them, nothing. Because I paid with PayPal, I couldn't cancel my order. I mean, it was a bloody nightmare. Really, really, really disappointed in how Too Faced handled this. And yes, I'm being a little harsh, but you know, this isn't just like a little independent beauty company. Um, this is a big brand, and a big brand that's recently been acquired by an even bigger brand. So I expected better of them on the customer service side and the supply side. Then the palette came, and it looks pretty nice in the pan, but um, it's, it's just, it's, it's not that great. I mean, it's just, it smells nice, but the, the pigmentation, there's almost no pigmentation. This is actually not even, they're saying it's a blush, but then when you read more carefully, it actually says it's a blush topper. I mean, I'm just, if you want a whole video on this, let me know. I've pretty much given you everything you need to know about this. If you don't already have this, don't, don't fret, just don't buy it. Every month, I bombard you with my favorites. Look at all the wonderful stuff I have. And I was just thinking, you know, maybe I should give you guys the opportunity to have more favorites of your own. And I was trying to think of a way to incorporate a giveaway that would would be able uh, would give me the opportunity to give you the chance to get some cool makeup. And I thought about how I could do this. It would be international, 
and with the shipping and all that. And while this may seem a little impersonal, I realized that a gift card to your favorite makeup store is probably the best way. That way you can just pick out what you want. So um, going forward, every month, it might not always be in my favorites videos. This month it's gonna be in my favorites videos. Every month in one of my videos, I'm gonna be doing a giveaway. It will never be announced in the title. It will, it will you'll just have to watch. And it's gonna be a $50 gift card to one of several retailers. You know, once I pick the winner, then we will talk via email and you will let me know where you prefer to buy your makeup and I can send you an e-gift card for $50 or whatever the equivalent is in your currency to go do a little shopping on your own. It's just my gift from me to you because y'all have been such a gift to me and I feel like it's my turn to give it back. So um, this month, $50 gift card, open internationally. Um, I'll put it in the, uh, the Rafflecopter link in the description box below. And um, the winner will be notified by email. And then um, once we've confirmed you know, receipt and all that, I will figure out some way to publicize who won it. All right, so um, good luck, happy, happy entering. And um, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for being with me for another month of favorites. And I'm really looking forward to February. I think it's gonna be a really fun month. So I hope you stick around to watch those videos too. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Please comment, please enter the giveaway and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.